Hello everyone, bonjour à tous, and welcome to this year's Taste of Asia Festival. For starters, I want to thank the Federation of Chinese Canadians in Markham for bringing us all together for this annual festival. I also want to thank my friends Dr. Kenneth Ng, Mayor Scarpitti, and the many community partners who are working together to break down barriers and support small businesses. Thank you for always stepping up for our communities and for supporting local small businesses. Je sais que se rassembler virtuellement n'est pas comme se retrouver tout le monde ensemble au même endroit. Mais il est tout de même important de célébrer la diversité et la culture du Canada durant cette période difficile. The Taste of Asia was born following the SARS outbreak. And for more than 15 years, this festival has brought us together to celebrate multiculturalism and bridge cultures and communities through food. Sadly, we find ourselves in a similar situation today where we've seen the ugly and disturbing rise in anti-Asian racism, xenophobia, and violent hate targeted at Asian Canadians and their businesses. These recent acts are a harsh reminder that we still have a long way to go in building a country that is free of discrimination, racism, and hatred. And we all have a role to play in building that country. And by taking part in this festival today, you're helping to show that we are stronger together. So thank you. Ensemble, on va créer un Canada meilleur et plus équitable pour tous. Je suis impatient de célébrer avec vous en personne. Merci mes amis et à la prochaine. Hello everyone, bonsoir mes amis, I'm Dr. Ken Ng, the chairman of the Federation of Chinese Canadians in Markham and the Taste of Asia Festival. On behalf of the board of directors and the organizing committee, I want to extend my greetings to everyone for watching our virtual Taste of Asia Festival 2021. In Ontario and indeed the whole of Canada, we are fortunate to have the diverse cultural experiences by the efforts of so many ethno-cultural groups in our communities. Thus broadening our experience and understanding of the multicultural mosaic so unique in our country. With COVID-19 and recent racism events in North America, the Virtual Taste of Asia Festival 2021 was created to address the anti-racism, not just in the Chinese community, but to all people as a whole. Now more than ever, it's the time to foster mutual respect and cooperation among people. Through cultural performances and speakers from various backgrounds, we want to bring the community together in these difficult times to acknowledge not just our differences, but to bring out the multicultural mosaic that is so unique in our country. Le Ma, Ni Hao. Hello, I'm Mayor Frank Scarpitti, Si Jung Chi Ping from the city of Markham. And I'm happy to be with you to celebrate the 2021 virtual Taste of Asia celebration. Markham is proud to be home to the largest festival of Asian culture in Canada, and I hope that you'll enjoy this year's fantastic array of talented artists and performers. Thank you, Dr. Ng, and of course, your entire team at Taste of Asia for pivoting to a virtual format this year, and I'm very hopeful that we will be together in person for next year's Taste of Asia Festival. I've been impressed by how our community has come together throughout the pandemic in support of one another. Our community has never been more united and together. 
There is light at the end of the tunnel, and that light is getting brighter each and every day. And I'm hopeful that we're entering a period of strong economic recovery. I strongly encourage our community to support local businesses, including the many amazing Chinese restaurants as we recover and rebuild our economy. The city of Markham and all levels of government are here to support you in your recovery efforts. And one way to enjoy the wonderful taste of Asia is to order in from your favorite Chinese restaurant. Enjoy the wonderful virtual festivities. My name is Philip Dushan. I'm president of the board of directors of Pacific Mall. On behalf of Pacific Mall, the unit owners and businesses, we welcome the Federation of Chinese Canadian Markham uh, and the Taste of Asia to our mall. Pacific Mall, the largest uh, indoor mall, uh, Asian mall in North America, has been a proud partner of FCCM, Dr. Eng, and their team for many, many years. Together, we are looking forward to coming out of COVID-19 restrictions that have hurt us economically, but have now, no doubt saved many, many lives. This September, during Pacific Mall's 25th anniversary, we are looking forward to hosting uh, the Taste of Asia, and it, we believe that these celebrations are very important to re-energize our lives and bring spirit back to our community. We at Pacific Mall uh, believe that tomorrow will be better than today, and the Taste of Asia celebrations organized by FCCM and the team will help bring that to a reality. Thank you. Shall. 
黄帝。Hello, Taste of Asia. It's Mary Ng, Member of Parliament for Markham Thornhill and Canada's Minister for Small Business, Export Promotion, and International Trade. I am thrilled that we can connect virtually to celebrate the Taste of Asia and our vibrant colour and the history as Asian Canadians. I want a special thank you to the Federation of Chinese Canadians in Markham and the Association of Progressive Muslims of Canada for hosting this event. I want to thank you for your dedication and your passion for the past 18 years. Taste of Asia has become Canada's largest Asian festival and a place for all to celebrate and enjoy diverse cultures, cuisine and entertainment. Once again, we are gathered under similar circumstances to when the Taste of Asia was first launched. During the 2003 SARS outbreak, a wave of misinformation and anti-Asian racism flooded our country and our community, making the way for rise in discrimination towards Asian owned businesses and people in our community. But it is thanks to Dr. Ken Ng that we fought back with a vibrant, inclusive and welcoming celebration of the rich heritage of Asian Canadians and the contributions that they make to Canada each and every day. And unfortunately, as many of us have seen or experienced, the same anti-Asian racism increased in Canada throughout COVID-19, making the mission of Taste of Asia even more important. Standing together with all Canadians as allies our government is committed to taking action against racism and discrimination in all of its forms, whether online, on our streets, in our homes, or in the workplace. So in the spirit of Taste of Asia, let's continue supporting each other, celebrating our diverse stories and embracing our vibrant traditions. Best of luck to all of the performers and thank you to everyone who has helped make this year's event possible. Happy Taste of Asia. Hello,我是Helvin 去那海浪舞小娃娃你可知道茫茫碧海是父母。Time has turned some pages since they moved away, and I think back in stages of the way she. And play today received a letter that she has passed away. So, when last time I kissed her by the flowers where she lay, look, they look. 
Look at Jane See Jane laugh and play Look, take look See pretty Jane I'm gonna marry her someday Hello everyone, I'm Deb Schultz, Member of Parliament for King Vaughan and Canada's Minister of Seniors. I want to thank the Federation of Chinese Canadians in Markham, the Association of Progressive Muslims of Canada, and the City of Markham for hosting this year's virtual Taste of Asia Festival and for giving me an opportunity to show my support. I'm glad we can still come together to celebrate the community and Asian heritage and culture. I also know that this past year has been very challenging for Asian Canadians who've had to not just suffer the effects of the pandemic, but cope with hate, intolerance, and anti-Asian racism. This is not acceptable in Canada, and we must all stand together and fight racism in all its forms. This year's festivities offer us a chance to come together and celebrate multiculturalism and Asian diversity that continues to enrich Canada. Doji and Sheshe Ni for inviting me to this year's festival. And I look forward to a wonderful celebration and best wishes for an enjoyable event. I'm happy to be with you as we celebrate the 2021 Virtual Taste of Asia. Markham is proud to be Canada's most culturally diverse community and home to the largest festival of Asian culture in all of Canada. Unfortunately, though, we've also witnessed hate directed at Asian Canadians over the past several months. I strongly condemn all forms of racism and hate towards any cultural group. Over the past year, I've also been very proud to see many acts of kindness and solidarity in our community in an effort to support each other 
during these challenging times. This is the DNA of our community. People who've lived here for generations have welcomed people from all over the world. And we see enriched experiences every single day in our schools, community centers, public spaces, and of course, at our many amazing community celebrations. All of us stand in support of our Asian community when they face hate and discrimination. Anti-Asian hate has no place in Markham, no place in Canada. As Canadians, we have so much to be proud of. The strength of our vibrant and diverse country is built on stories like mine and yours. Let's continue to support each other, to continue on the fight against racist behaviors, against the Asian communities, black communities, indigenous people, and most recently, the Muslim community. So today, let us enjoy and embrace this virtual festival, showcasing our incredible talents, tradition, and culture, as well to enjoy and experience the featured Cambodian cuisine. Have a happy taste of Asia. Hi, my name is Cha Tu. I'm the honorary consul of the Kingdom of Cambodia to Canada. To all of the distinguished guests, it's been a challenge year with the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. But I am glad to be here with you all today. The Kingdom of Cambodia is honored to be part of today's festivity. And we will be sharing a small taste of Cambodia culture, music, art, and cuisine. My thanks to Chairman of the Board, Dr. Kenning, and the rest of his team for their hard work in organizing this year's Taste of Asia Festival. Stay safe, stay healthy, please enjoy the rest of the event. And I look forward to seeing you all in person at the next Taste of Asia. Thank you. Fourteen years ago, when I received a phone call, we were living in Ajax, and Dr. Kenning called, and he said he wanted uh, our association to come on board, and we did, and never looked back. This event is very important, and as Dr. Kenning said, when we, our community was uh, facing backlash after 9-11, so they supported us, and it's a good partnership with the Chinese Federation and uh, Canadian Muslims, and it's becoming very strong over a period of 14 years, and hopefully it will go on for many, many years to come. Ni hao, assalamu alaikum, ne ho ma, sat kal, konnichiwa, salam, namaste, ma buhai, anyang haseo, vanekum. Thank you to the Federation of Chinese Canadians in Markham for your kind invitation to participate in the Virtual Taste of Asia Festival for 2021. It's an honor to pay tribute to the broad diversity of Asian culture, traditions, practices, and faith, which have all contributed to the multicultural fabric of our community and our country. We are extremely proud of that multicultural fabric, but more, we're united as Canadians by a common set of principles and values which we all hold dear. Values including respect, tolerance, compassion, guide us as we continue the fight against prejudice, discrimination, and hate in our community. York Regional Police has, for many years, been engaged in this ongoing fight together with our community partners. We know these cowardly criminal acts often have a profound impact on our communities. Rest assured, YRP is committed to combating 
anti-Asian racism and hate in all of its ugly forms. The last 18 months have put us all to the test. The ignorant, uninformed, and sometimes vicious incidents that people of Asian heritage have had to endure not only hurt victims, but they hurt the broader community. I've been a police officer in this region for three decades, and I've always been proud of the strong relationships we've developed with all of our communities. But I'm also aware there's more work to be done, both in the organization and in our community. No one should have to tolerate actions based on bias, prejudice, racism, or hate. At YRP, we have implemented an inclusion strategy. This strategy incorporates a multi-year anti-racism education program for our members to promote equitable and inclusive practices at our workplace. In 2020, all YRP members took a mandatory anti-racism training course where they learn more about racial discrimination and human rights protections under the Ontario Human Rights Code. The training offered a historical overview of racism and provided approaches to preventing and addressing racial discrimination. I assure you that we will hold ourselves accountable and be part of the solution as we forge a path forward. We will continue to build a community that's safe and secure, welcoming and inclusive, where everyone feels a sense of inclusion and belonging. We're going to do this because it's the right thing to do, and because our community and our people deserve nothing less. Thank you again for inviting YRP to be part of your virtual celebration. All my very best to everyone. Thank you. Soy sincero, que ando loco por ti mujer Mami yo te quiero, por ti me muero Yo te soy sincero, que ando loco por ti mujer Decirle a que no, no la vi te era Te la no te agrada, su se da pejera Te no da menos, tu es que te queda En un imán que da Still made up. Aki aji pyar tera, tu hi dil dar mera. Aki aji do da tenu, dil be karar mera. Fell in love, chubby dekha first time. Yeah, no sin hai, dil nahi koi crime. Dil ho gaya hai, pe pe da kya karo? Gulabi, aki aji dil ko gaya. Ni soni hai, main holi holi tera ho gaya. Tu tu da tere husn ne chhod ya nasha. Crazy sa, me ho gaya Dila bhi, akhi aji te likho gaya Ni sori hai, me holi holi tera ho gaya Ni to da tere husni da chade ya nasha Crazy sa, me ho gaya When I see you dancing, I'm like Ola, 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 ola With your move fancy, make me wanna Ola, 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 ola I got your attention, spending that moolah, 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 moolah And my drop pop in pockets, swolah, swolah, swolah तेरे जी हसी कोई हो ना नहीं सूर तेरा तेरे करने आ प्यार तू ही करे करार के साथ मांगने आ तेरा मेरे दिल की दुखी ना को तेरे जी हसी कोई हो ना नहीं सूर तेरा तेरे करने आ प्यार तू ही करे करार के साथ मांगने आ तेरा I fell in love जब भी देखा first time yeah no sin है दिल नहीं कोई कोई दिल हो गया है पे पे दा क्या करूं Dr. Helena Jasek, the Member of Parliament for Markham Stouffville. In the wake of SARS, the Taste of Asia Festival brought people together. I remember it well, and I was there at the very first Taste of Asia Festival. 
It was created to help foster harmony, mutual respect, and cooperation between ethnocultural groups. Over the years, the festival grew, becoming the largest Asian street festival in Canada, hosting over 180,000 attendees annually with food, vendors, live stage shows, concerts, competitions, contests, and much more. With the challenges and tragedies Canadians have been facing in recent months and weeks, it seems like we need this festival more than ever to bring us together. For two years now, because of COVID-19, we haven't been able to take part in person. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. More than 75% of eligible Canadians have received their first vaccine dose. And in York Region, more than 25% of us have received their second. By the end of June, Canada will have received over 50 million doses of vaccine that will grow to 68 million by the end of July. By mid-June, Canada has been number one in the world in terms of the percentage of population who have received at least one dose. So with all these effort, efforts, everyone who gets vaccinated or helps someone else get vaccinated, a friend, neighbor, or family member, helps bring us one step closer to being together. Thank you. By taking action, you're helping protect yourself and other Canadians. Things aren't back to normal yet, but in the meantime, we can still find ways to celebrate. The virtual Taste of Asia is one of those ways. It's a reminder of what's best in Canada. This festival is about bringing people together. It's an affirmation that Canada's diversity and inclusivity makes us stronger. It's a reminder that Canadians are stronger together. Thank you to Dr. Ken Ng and the Taste of Asia Festival. Thank you all for taking part. And I look forward to being with you at the festival next year. Hello, MPP Billy Pang for Markham Udenville here. Traditionally, Taste of Asia Festival brings different cultures together and creates harmony, mutual respect, and cooperation between various ethno-cultural groups through street festival performances and food booths featuring mouth-watering authentic Asian dishes. This year, we have to celebrate the festival virtually instead. While we continue to follow health and safety guidelines, I want to thank FCCM for organizing this event that allows everyone to celebrate Taste of Asia with their loved ones safely from the comfort of their homes. The health and safety of Ontarians is our government's top priority. As Ontario's COVID-19 vaccination plans continues, it will remain important for all of us to continue to follow health and safety guidelines. The light at the end of the tunnel is growing brighter, but until then, it will remain crucial for us to follow health and safety protocols. Together, Ontario will defeat COVID-19 together. Please stay safe and healthy. And thank you again for inviting me to your virtual festival. And to all attendees, enjoy all shows by many international talents. Enjoy the event. And happy Taste of Asia. Get to run.
Hello， 大家好，我係 Larry To 啊，太古其中之一嘅董事啊 ，Board Director。咁大家好啦，咁咁多年嚟咧，我哋太古一直都係我哋依、這個啊。Taste of Asia 美食節嘅啊舉辦嘅地方啦，亦都係萬錦區最光輝、最風光嘅亮點。每一個夏天啊，咁當中咧，我哋有好多唔同嘅表演喎，譬如咧會有大廚嚟啊，亦都會有名人同埋嘉賓嘅出道。咁尤其是我哋太古，因為係一個啊旅遊玩樂嘅地標，所以我哋好高興可以再一次舉辦依個 Taste of Asia 嘅美食節。咁因為我哋上年同埋今年咧啊依個疫情，咁所以咧就好需要大家嘅互相嘅鼓勵啊，同埋咧一個新嘅出發。咁希望太古今次咧會有一個一定會有一個更好嘅開始。咁祝。依、这個 Taste of Asia 一切順利，同埋各位身體健康。聚散似平常，谁能预料？但我却难忘往昔分秒，与你曾留下的欢笑，情感是满载痛苦与奥妙。又再次停留外望这表，可惜你今天已别去了。曾经藏着的爱情，却不敢承认。如今。问谁来做证？只得风声冷冷的呼在痛苦与奥妙，又再次停留外望这表，可惜你今天已别去了。曾经藏着的爱情。承认，如今问谁来做证？只得风声冷冷的。望再次寻回我心所爱，可惜那秋天已别去了，可惜那秋天已。everyone, it's great to join you here in the virtual world once again as we celebrate the 19th year of the annual Taste of Asia. My name is Sandra young Rako. I'm the counselor from the city of Vaughan and also has been your opening ceremony co-host for the past 18 years. 
As we enter into our 19th year, we should reflect back on how the Taste of Asia was born. It was back in 2003 when we were hit by the SARS outbreak. Dr. Ken Ng, chair of the Federation of Chinese Canadian in Markham, along with Mobi Kaja of the Muslim, uh, Progressive Muslims of Canada, endorsed by the Markham mayor, Frank Scarpiti, got together and decided to host a Taste of Asia festival in hopes of boosting the local economy. It was also a platform to encourage community groups from all over to promote their diverse and multicultural dynamics through dancing and singing, and as well as introduction of variety of international foods. These activities have helped to stimulate public understanding of the various cultures that make up our community and our country, and has created shared harmony to foster mutual respect and cooperation with the many ethno-cultural groups. With the many negative impact that COVID-19 pandemic has presented over the year, it is more important than ever that we learn to respect and accept each other's differences and acknowledge the increased racism that we have endured. We need to continue to listen, learn, and understand each other in order to make our world a better one to, for all to live in. Congratulations to the team of volunteers who have worked tirelessly to put the 2021 Virtual Taste of Asia Festival on. I hope you will enjoy the many performances and activities that have been lined up for you to enjoy from the comfort of your home. Cheers to everyone and wishing everyone a very happy and safe Canada Day. My name is Alan Ho, Markham City Councillor. I'm also the chair of Markham Council's Culture and Economic Development Committee. It is my great pleasure and honor to attend the Taste of Asia, which has been ranked as one of the 100 best outdoor events in Canada for so many years not long after its first inception in 2003. The main purpose of Taste of Asia is to promote Asian culture and heritage to people with different cultural backgrounds, thus enhancing the multiculturalism in this great country, Canada. Many thanks and congratulations to Dr. Ken Ng and Emily Ng for their leadership and contribution over the years. I look forward to seeing another successful event of Taste of Asia 2021. Thank you. My name is Amanda Young Colucci, Ward 6 Councillor at City of Markham. I'm delighted to deliver greetings to this year's Taste of Asia virtual event. For years, Taste of Asia is a signature event in Markham to celebrate our wonderful diverse city and Asian heritage. Food event often is an important thing that's tied people together. Food represents our culture, represents our heritage, and more importantly, when we taste our childhood food, it often reminds us of our roots, our parents, and our ancestors. The name of certain dishes also is a reminder of our mother tongue. Food ties all of the memories together. Thank you, Dr. Canning and FCCM for another Taste of Asia celebration. Although due to COVID-19 pandemic, we're not able to gather in person, but this pandemic will not stop us to celebrate our Asian heritage this year. Let's eat! Go 
Extend a warm welcome to everyone here taking part in the Taste of Asia Festival. As the president of FCCM, I'm very proud of our community for coming together to celebrate and promote multiculturalism and cultural heritage. I hope everyone is getting through the pandemic safely and we would like to provide a community so that no one's alone during these times. By joining together, we can promote mutual respect fight against discriminations, and provide a safe environment for all. Thank you all again for being part of the festival, and I hope to see you over here soon. Hi 喺疫情嘅時候都能夠盡力去延續Taste of Asia 繼續將亞洲文化同美食嘅精髓展現出嚟
同精心安排有分量嘅娛樂表演，令到社區大眾喺屋企都能夠享受到一場視覺嘅盛宴。再一次祝今晚嘅活動圓滿成功，希望大家細心欣賞。I want to thank our entertainers, speakers, and most importantly, you, our beloved audience, for giving us the Virtual Taste of Asia 2021. Most importantly, we also want to applaud together with you, our sponsors, for giving us the support to make this possible, in particular, the TD Bank as our presenting sponsor. The governments of Canada, Ontario and Markham. Pacific Mall, the Living Properties, Network Production and FCCM. On behalf of the Taste of Asia organization, I hope you, our beloved audience, will heed our call to change our behavior and attitude so that we can stamp out the racist behaviors and eliminate racism against people of all background, the Asian Canadians, the black community, the indigenous people, the Muslim community, and all racialized groups. We also want you to work together to eliminate the COVID pandemic by getting your vaccination, masking, washing hands, and physical distancing. We look forward to see you in person at our 19th annual Taste of Asia Festival on the street of Kennedy and Steels adjacent to Pacific Mall on the weekend of Labor Day, September 4th to 6th. 